Hey y'all, Half Mile Sniper here, and I'm making my way to the range. Hopefully I'll be able to get on so I can uh, run some uh, ammo over the chronograph through three different barrel lengths. So sit back, kick your feet up, and enjoy the ride. Okay, so what we're going to do today is we are going to try running some uh, some 44 Magnum ammo through three different guns, three different barrel lengths, and see if there's a difference in the recorded velocity. The ammo I'm shooting today, let me find it, is a... Uh, Federal 44 mag that should be giving us a muzzle velocity of 1,220 feet per second. So we'll see how close these come up. So here's the guns we have. We have a 4 inch model 29. And then we'll be shooting a 6 inch model 29. And then an 8 inch model 29. And we'll be shooting the Federal Champion Brass 44 mag ammo. So, let's see how this one turns out. Okay, this will be six rounds through the four inch. Okay, so let's see what we get here. Our high was 12.55. Pardon me. Our high was 12.91. Our low was 12.55 and our average is 12.79. So average of 12.79 out of the 4-inch gun. When the book tells us it was supposed to be 12:30, with the wood grips, I can tell you this was a pretty, pretty stout load through that four inch. Okay, so this will be with the six inch, and we'll see if it is any faster. Six inch model 29. Oh, well, well. Our low was 1369. Our high was 1399. Our average was 1384. Ooh, our standard deviation dropped. Very good. Still quite a handful. We'll see how bad it is out of the 8 inch gun. Okay, this will be out of the eight.
<sighs> okay. Out of the eight inch. We had a low of 1442, a high of 1497, average of 1463. So we picked up 200 feet per second going from four inches to eight inches. And our standard deviation goes way up to 20. I would say that that six inch probably likes this uh, Federal Ammo the best. Okay, so there we have it. We picked up 200 feet per second going to the 8 inch from the 4 inch. So now we're going to try the, uh, see if I can split a card with the 44 mag here. Uh, get things set up and give that a try. Okay, we're going to try the card here with the 6 inch model 20. Okay, so here we are. Again, we got the 4 inch, we got the 6 inch, we got the 8 inch model 29s. And yes, I did get the card on the first shot, but what I need to do, and I won't know until I review the footage, is did I hit the card clean and then hit the clamp? Or did I hit the clamp and just get it along the top of the clamp? I don't know. We'll see how that looks on the, on the slow-mo. I hope you all enjoyed this. Don't forget to hit like and hit subscribe. Keep your eye out for more videos on uh, shooting stuff. Alrighty, y'all. Well, we are done at the range. And I want to apologize right now because I don't know what the sound quality is going to be like. There was a uh, qualification on the bay next to me. Sorry about the lighting there. The qualification on the bay next to me, and then there was a, uh, I think it might have been a SWAT Academy gone, another bay over. So there was a lot of shooting. I tried to talk over the gunfire, but couldn't make them stop to allow me to have some fun. Here, let me, there we go. That looks a little bit better. Sorry about that. I couldn't stop them from, uh, doing their training so I could have some fun so uh, hopefully when I get home get a chance to review this uh, footage we'll find out if it's uh, got a sound quality to it or not so again hope y'all like this don't forget to hit like don't forget to hit subscribe and uh, I'll try to uh, make it out to the range on a day when there's not quite so much shooting going on. Plus, I can't wait to see how uh, footage looks of the uh, Seven of Diamonds, whether I hit the card clean and then hit the clamp, or if I hit the clamp first, you know, right off the get-go. We'll find out in a little while. Y'all take care. Be safe. This is Half Mile Sniper checking out. Y'all have a good one. Send it. Hit.